So there is a question from Tech Adser. He's saying, or she's saying, per pound of weight, how much protein is needed to preserve muscle mass? And then how much weight in greens, nuts, and beans do we need to eat in order to consume sufficient protein? Well, keep in mind that most people, you know, it depends on the person, you know, elderly people need a little more. Maybe you're a professional athlete. Maybe you're a six foot eight, 200 pound guy, like a world-class basketball player or a tennis player. So the answer is your protein needs are proportional to your caloric needs. When you need more calories, you need more protein, you're exercising more. If you're a physical laborer, you know, so the answer to the question is we need about 30 grams of protein per thousand calories, but some people need 2000 calories and some people need 3000 calories. Maybe you're a professional athlete, you know, so if the person so who needs 3000 calories might be needing hundred grams of protein a day, but they're eating more food. So they're getting more protein. You know what I mean? My, so the person who's a, a five, a four eleven, you know, a hundred pound woman, who's not a heavy, doing a lot of physical fitness may, you know, may need much less protein. The bottom line is, um, you don't have to be a rocket scientist that all these food, unless you, it's very hard to be too low in protein unless you're overdoing fruit or processed foods or oils. The minute you're eating, so it's not, you get easily getting about 35 to 40 grams per thousand calories. You need about 30 grams per thousand calories more meets our nutritional needs. That translates for this person is most people that are overweight, we don't mostly want to feed them more than an ounce and a half of two ounces of nuts a day because the nuts and seeds are 175 calories an ounce. And just we were trying to keep their calories around the 15, you know, below the 1500 mark if they're looking to lose weight. So we, we keep their nuts and seeds restricted to about, you know, one and a half to two ounces. That's about 300 calories a day. Um, but they're still eating larger amounts of beans. We're saying they can eat a half a cup to a cup of beans a day, which is um, rich in protein. They can eat larger, robust portions of green vegetables. Don't forget, um, green vegetables are really low in calories, but they're very protein rich, like asparagus and artichokes and broccoli are, pro are like 50%, 40, 50% protein because they're not mostly carbohydrate. And because beans, beans have more protein than you think. And the reason they have more protein than you think is because they're marked on the box or the analysis is like 25 to 30% uh, 30 protein, let's say. But when you consider that 10 to 15% of the calorie of the carbohydrates in beans are resistant starch, that means they pass through you and don't get absorbed they're degraded by bacteria, metabolized by bacteria into short chain fatty acids. But that happens so far down in the digestive tract that 90% of those calories get lost in the toilet bowl. So since you're losing about 15% of the calories and beans of the carbohydrate calories, the actual amount of protein you absorb based on absorbable calories is higher than 30%, it's closer to 38%. So we're talking here that beans give you more essential protein than even like a hamburger or something like that. So in other words, it's people don't recognize that when you're mixing vegetables with beans and nuts and seeds, you're getting a good, you're easily meeting those protein needs. But there are some people who, you know, um, elderly people with poor digestion or that could require, um, occasionally require more, but that's very rare. 